Hello everybody, this is Brad, uh, the Guitologist, and uh, today's video is going to be a response to a question uh, I received on one of my other videos about how I built this cigar box guitar that uh, you see in a few of my videos. Um, and we're just going to take the opportunity to talk generally about how to build this type of cigar box guitar. So if that's something you'd be interested in, stick around. Here's a little close-up uh, look of the actual body of the cigar box guitar in question. As you can see, um, I've used a neck uh, that was already existing uh, for this project. And, um, you know, there are so many guitars out there on the market and so many parts and things. It's, it's pretty easy to come across decent necks. Uh, this one just happened to be a, uh, a pretty cool 1960s Japanese uh, guitar neck that I had lying around. I did not take apart a Japanese guitar uh, to build this thing, and I don't recommend doing that. But if you already have a neck laying around a spare, um, I see no reason not to. This one was partic particularly cool because it had a um, uh, it was mahogany and had a real nice rosewood fretboard, so I decided to use it, and it was adjustable uh, down here, which I like. Um, as you can see, I used a Partega's uh, cigar box, which um, had a really good length this way. Um, which accommodated the scale length of this particular neck nicely. Here are the parts that we used uh, for this project. Uh, some of the usual suspects, of course, we've got some glue, clamps, um, and other usual things. In this picture, um, we are clamping up a neck block that we will need um, for setting or, or for bolting the neck onto the body. In this picture you'll see a couple of five gallon paint sticks. Uh, these you can acquire at your local hardware store in the paint aisle. Uh, Lowe's, Walmart, places like that will have these and they're usually they're usually just several, a few pennies to buy those. If you laminate a couple of those together they make really strong braces which we will use those for in this project. And just so you can see I wasn't lying, they are indeed five gallon paint sticks. Here's another shot of the, the box itself. You can see we've routed out for the neck here and routed out for pickups, and I'm just trying this pickup out. Here is the inside of the box. Uh, this wiring harness here with the single pickup and the, and the volume and tone controls and the output jack. Well, actually, I bought these all on eBay and uh, like a lot. They were already assembled. And I think it was like seven or eight dollars. And actually, this is a really nice sounding pickup, believe it or not. Uh, it came from China. Uh, here we're adding more pieces to the neck block to make it taller. And here's another shot of that. You can see I actually used a couple more paint stick pieces up here. And this block here is a big, is a large dowel. I think it's like two inch by two inch. Uh, dowel. You can get those in uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and things too. Um, to After installing the neck block, after gluing it in, uh, the best thing to do is to come in here, the easiest thing to do is to come in here with a, a drill and Swiss cheese this. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for the next step which is to whip out the chisel and begin chiseling. Here you see the chiseling complete, and we have our holes drilled uh, for our neck assembly. Uh, well, you can also see the braces that we uh, use for the five gallon from the five gallon paint stirrers. A little better look of the uh, neck block here with the four screw holes, and you want to make sure that you um, chisel this, check the neck, chisel, check the neck several times so that you get the pitch and everything right so you can get a good setup on your guitar. Here are uh, the holes I drilled for the um, for the screws and those had to be countersunk because the the block was so thick. Here you'll see inside the cigar box guitar and you can see I used the end of the handle of the paint stick here for this part so I didn't waste anything. And uh, this is necessary because you need something to screw to and also you need something to couple uh, to the backs so that it um, 
transfers all of that pressure and energy onto the back piece, which is a lot sturdier wood than this top. Uh, these tops on most of these cigar boxes are made of uh, just a composite material, whereas the back is usually a laminated wood. Here's a picture of the Seymour Duncan I use. This is a Telecaster style Seymour Duncan pickup I had laying around my stash, which sounds really good in this project. Oh, and you'll also note from this photograph, um, I have the ground wire wrapped around this um, screw, which was the best way to get everything grounded to the strings. Uh, there's a shot of the, uh, the block. Uh, and also this piece of wood was installed uh, so that I could um, install a strap button but in hindsight if I had this to do over I probably would have just created one large block for the end and that would have made a lot more sense. So here's the box fully assembled with all the holes everything installed and drilled. I used a three-way switch on this one uh, and installed my electronics up on top and I used a uh, gold um, bridge plate for a Telecaster that I had laying around in my stash already so I didn't have to really buy that. Here's the electronics that were modified. I went with a uh, different capacitor uh, than what was uh, installed in it. Uh, this is a vintage one and also added the three-way and the additional pickup. Um, this asymmetry on this block is not by design. That's just how everything sort of worked itself out, and I saw no reason to make it all pretty. So yeah, that concludes our short presentation on how to construct a hollow body, a true hollow body, cigar box guitar, a six-stringer. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You don't see too many uh, true hollow body cigar box guitars. Most of the ones that you see um, have kind of a neck-through design with a center block. Um, and uh, you have uh, this, the block actually comes out the tail and anchors the string so you really don't get the same resonance that you get with a with a true hollow body design like this uh, so yeah if you're a seasoned cigar box guitar builder uh, you might try this design sometime and see if um, see if it works for you uh, if you guys haven't already done so uh, please subscribe to my other videos below to get future updates and y'all take care